General Atomics announced it's been chosen by the Defense Department to develop an advanced new drone that can be used for air-to-air -air combat. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is funding the Longshot program to produce an unmanned vehicle that can be launched from a bomber and engage enemy aircraft on its own. DARPA program manager, Lt. Col. Paul Calhoun, stated, The Longshot program changes the paradigm of air combat operations by demonstrating an unmanned, air-launched vehicle capable of employing current and advanced air-to-air -air weapons. Calhoun said, Longshot will disrupt traditional incremental weapon improvements by providing an alternative means of generating combat capability. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how DARPA-conceived Longshot drone could be a disruptive force. Let's get started. The program will design, fabricate, and flight test a demonstration system to prove the feasibility of the Longshot concept. General Atomics was picked alongside Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to provide preliminary designs for Longshot's first phase in February 2021. Though DARPA has not yet disclosed if the other two contractors also are moving forward. DARPA may have both the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force as potential partners to transition the effort into an acquisition program. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems stated the following in its announcement. GAASI is pleased to continue supporting the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, Longshot Program. Longshot changes the paradigm of air combat operations by demonstrating an unmanned, air-launched vehicle capable of employing air-to-air -air weapons. Current air superiority concepts rely on advanced manned fighter aircraft to provide a penetrating counter-air capability to effectively deliver weapons. It's envisioned that Longshot will increase the survivability of manned platforms by allowing them to be at standoff ranges far away from enemy threats while an air-launched long-shot unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, efficiently closes the gap to take more effective missile shots. After a successful preliminary design review PDR, in February 2002, at the end of Phase 1, GAASI was selected by DARPA to continue into Phase 2 in March 2022. During Phase 2, detailed designs are being completed and ground tests conducted to decrease program risk. A key event completed early in Phase 2 was multi-body wind tunnel test, characterizing the long-shot air vehicle and air-to-air -air weapon separation. Critical Design Review, or CDR, for the program is planned for early 2023, which will complete the Phase 2 portion of the program. GAASI is currently generating a proposal response for the third phase of the program. GAASI is committed to the successful flight demonstration of the Longshot Air Vehicle, said GAASI Senior Director of Advanced Programs Michael Atwood. Upcoming Phase 2 ground tests will demonstrate the viability of key subsystems. Phase 3 would initiate the prototype manufacturing and flight testing phase of the program. Flight testing would begin in 2024. It's no secret that the U.S. Air Force is interested in pairing drones with aircraft. A program in that line, named Skyborg, was launched in 2019. Skyborg is aimed at developing a family of low-cost drones that can be reused but are cheap enough so that losses in combat can be financially and operationally tolerated. A lot of work has gone into Skyborg Autonomy Core System ACS, which is the AI brain. It's also noted that the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD fighter, will have the ability to control drones known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCAs. The CCAs are planned to fill roles like carrying additional missiles, providing extra sensor coverage, or even taking a hit from an enemy in the place of a piloted aircraft. 
Anti-Access Area Denial, A2AD, systems refuse U.S. forces the ability to come within hundreds or even thousands of miles of an enemy's territory. These capabilities include advanced integrated air defense systems with long-range engagement capabilities able to target and shoot down aircraft from hundreds of miles away. An example will be the Russian S-400. In this situation, Longshot would be a disruptive force. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.